Welcome to another Mauerbytes Labs video. I am Adam Kujawa, Director of Mauerbytes Labs, and this time I'm gonna tell you about the top five threats to watch out for in the second quarter of 2017. Starting at number five, watch out for tech support scammers. Over the last few months, we've observed a lot of scammer groups starting to scam each other and even their own employees. These practices are known as intramarket fraud and exit scams. Combine those with a greater awareness of these scams by not only users, but payment processors as well, and you have an environment where many scammer companies will be going under very soon, and those that survive are gonna keep pushing harder to keep things afloat. We predict a big increase in tech support scams being pushed through potentially unwanted programs, as well as an overall increase in how aggressive these scammers will be in trying to steal your money. Never trust a pop-up or phone call informing you of problems with your computer unless it comes from a source that you trust. Number four is the Jisoot Android ransomware. This threat has historically been observed targeting Asian countries. However, there are certainly versions that attack the Western world. In addition, we can expect this malware and likely many copycats to become larger issues for Android users in the next quarter. Our advice is to not only install applications on your phone from legitimate app stores, but also run some kind of security software to do periodic scans and keep an eye on what certain apps are trying to do with your information. At number three, we have Mac malware. We predict that Mac malware will likely be turned out in greater numbers than we've seen since 2012. Even before that happens, keep an eye out for targeted phishing emails, probably disguised as iCloud account notifications, especially if they have an Office document attached. This method of malicious spam spreading has already been observed infecting Macs with backdoor malware. Furthermore, and this probably goes without saying, there is a significant threat from downloading applications from piracy sites, regardless of the operating system. In fact, the Mac ransomware FindZip has been identified masking as pirated software, and you can guarantee that copycat families will choose the same route. Number two is mouse spam. Phishing emails that come with an attachment, which once executed, will download and infect your system with malware is called malicious spam or mouse spam for short. Mouse spam has become the primary method of malware distribution even before the last quarter, since the exploit kit world is yet to recover after the loss of the powerhouse Angular exploit kit. Already this year, we've observed significant developments in mouse spam tactics, which use a combination of stealthy tricks to evade email scanners, but also a fair amount of social engineering. Some of these tricks include utilizing multiple compressed file formats, for example, zip, ISO, and 7-zip which contains scripting files that can not only prepare the system for malware infection, but actually download brand new and very dangerous malware. Many mouse spam attacks we have observed are also utilizing password protected office documents and compressed files to convey legitimacy as well as evade automatic analysis by security researchers. We are certain that this will not stop anytime soon. In fact, we expect to see additional development into this classic form of infection throughout the next quarter and likely the rest of the year. So always be suspicious of emails with attachments that you weren't expecting and double check the source just to be sure. Additionally, social engineering has not only been utilized by mouse spam, we've observed some exploit campaigns that redirect victims to a page that asks the user to download a font file. And as I'm sure you can figure out, you're not actually downloading a font. We've seen this tactic used to spread ransomware families like Spora. Finally, our number one threat to watch out for this quarter is server ransomware. This ransomware family has made such a huge impact in the cybercrime world that its distribution capabilities leave any other competing family in its dust. In fact, during the first three months of 2017, Server made up nearly 30% of all ransomware detections for that period. If that doesn't spook you, consider that ransomware makes up over 60% of all malware being distributed right now. And nearly 90% of that is Server. Server sports a lot of capabilities, like using AES encryption to ransom your files and the ability to do that without the need for an internet connection. Combine that with continuous development from its creators and Server becomes an apex predator in the ransomware world. One theory as to why Server is so heavily pushed also lies in its business model, which we refer to as ransomware as a service or a family that can be modified and leased by its creators to other cyber criminals or affiliates. These affiliates distribute the malware, and every time a victim pays, the server team gets a cut of the ransom. Finally, server is coming from every direction, from mouse spam and phishing to exploit kits. We don't expect this trend to slow down in the next quarter, 
While other competitors might take additional market share away from Cerber, it's highly unlikely this family is going to slow down. Our advice is to prepare for a ransom infection that can't be decrypted. Back up your important files right away and utilize a security solution that covers not only malware scanning, but also real-time protection and stops threats at multiple layers of the attack chain. Seriously, folks, this is bad and you need to protect yourself. So that's it for our list, but this is only a small taste of everything we put into the latest Cybercrime Tactics and Techniques report, which you can download from the link in the description. But before you go, if there's some aspect of computer security you want to hear more about from us next quarter, leave a comment below and we'll try to get in there. If you like this kind of stuff, leave a like and subscribe to the Malwarebytes YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.